Coach, congrats on the, your first playoff win in program history. Um, head coach Pat Duquette, you want to just uh, open it up with general thoughts on today's win? Oh, it was such an exciting win um, for our team, especially in this year. To even get this far, right? I mean, nobody knew how the season was going to progress and so many challenges and ups and downs. I always felt like we were in a good place uh, heading into the playoffs. Our team has gotten better, you know, despite missing Obi for three weeks. They've really uh, come together and um, guys have stepped up in his absence. So I always felt like if we could get him back in time for the playoffs, that uh, we were in a good spot. And um, today we got off to a rough start. That kid Rodriguez was, uh, you know, had the hot hand and we didn't do enough to make him feel uncomfortable. He hit some big shots and that's a game changer. Usually that wins a game. When a kid comes in and hits six straight three pointers, it usually lights out. Uh, so that's not why I was so happy uh, how my guys battled back in tough circumstances. I think we held them to 20 points in the second half. And that's as good as we can do. And um, that's how you're going to win some playoff basketball games is, is, is doing that. So great job on the defensive end in the second half. Thanks, Coach. And uh, in terms of the, sec the second half, what was what was different? How did you guys kind of buckle down and start playing more of your brand of basketball? Well, just more aggressive, you know, especially on the perimeter. Um, you know, changed the way we were playing uh, their ball screens. Uh, which made us more aggressive. Um, that's all. And I, I thought Bryce did a, did a good job in the second half setting that uh, pace defensively. And then I thought uh, Anthony Blunt came in and gave us a huge lift defensively, continued that aggressiveness, and, and got us some, a couple of huge buckets. So not that it was just those two, but I thought they were pivotal in uh, getting our uh, defense uh, to be more aggressive in the second half. Thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, at this time, we'll open it up to questions for Coach Pat Duquette. Uh, Coach John Duquette from uh, NJC Sport. Um, Glitt Thomas also came through big time for you guys in the second half with some big shots to uh, to help get the run started that eventually got you back in the game. Yeah, we need that. Uh, Cleo's a terrific shooter, especially when he's in rhythm. He can make multiple threes and change the game similar to what their kid did. So uh, he doesn't force shots. He's, he's in a good uh, mindset in that way. Um, and he's become a better defender. And, and that's why he's allow, uh, allowed to stay on the floor more. And uh, the better he defends, the more he stays on the floor, the better chance there is he's going to string together some three-point shots. And, you know, we'd all be remiss if we didn't talk about Obi. Um, and it certainly was not his prettiest game, you know, first time playing in almost a month. Uh, he was gassed. He was out of breath. Um, it was really difficult for him. Um, but I tried to take him out when I could. I tried to call timeouts. Just a warrior. You know, I, not his not his best effort, but his most courageous effort. Uh, what he brought tonight uh, to us uh, was unbelievable. And then he executed that play down the stretch with three seconds left. We got, got him the ball at the elbow, and he made a great move and a great finish. Of course, the, the last question I have is this. Rodriguez did give you... Uh, a tough first half, 20 points. But in the second half, he only got two. What defensively did you do to uh, to slow him down in the second half? Yeah, like I said, uh, Anthony and Bryce did a nice job. We pushed up. We were more aggressive. We changed our ball screen coverage. Um, and and we just didn't try and, you know, get get the lead back quickly. We just knew that it was going to come little by little. And we took it in four-minute segments. And did a nice job defensively. Now, we've got to be careful moving ahead. You know, we can't have that type of first half and expect to recover. Uh, that's just not going to happen. So we were fortunate tonight. We worked hard. We earned it. Uh, they're a really good uh, team, well-coached, athletic, um, always have given us fits uh, in, in terms of mismatches. So um, happy the way our guys battled back, but we got to make sure we get off to a better uh, start in the first half tomorrow. Hey, Pat, it's Matt Langoni. How you doing? Good. Congrats on the win, obviously. Um, I know you guys are confident in your team just in general, but to have Obi back, um, just he's such a game changer. Just how much more does he make you guys a threat just in general? Yeah, I think he does. But, you know, those other guys that played well in his absence need to continue to be aggressive. And that's the key if we're going to be a better team. Um, tomorrow's going to be our biggest test. I mean, to, to come back after this game and have to play 40 more minutes in less than 24 hours notice against a team that didn't play today, tomorrow's going to be tougher than today. Um, you know, I like our chances if we can get by them all, but we all know the types of games we've had with UNH and they've been extremely close and hard fought. So um, we're looking forward to it. We're glad we're advancing, but tomorrow's going to be a huge test for us.
quick, quick follow up to that too. Uh, how does it feel to get this this monkey off the back? You know, proverbial monkey first win in the conference tournament. Um, it's going to feel good for you guys, right? To get that. Get yeah, that the guys back. are excited. That's fun, Matt. They're hooting and hollering. Uh, yeah. They know. I'm I'm less concerned with that. I, I want to make sure the program keeps getting better every year in terms of its talent level, its depth. Um, and I think it has slowly and gradually. Uh, it has. Um, and um, yeah, the guys are excited. They, they know this is this is a special time of year. And yeah. And, uh, and they know that was a big win. They know it was hard fought. Thanks, Pat. Yep. Thanks, Coach. Any additional questions for Coach? Thanks, Coach. I appreciate your time very much. And good luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat.